AutoCAD 2017 Part Design, Bearing Bracket. AutoCAD is a commercial software application for 2D and 3D computer-aided design, CAD, and drafting, available since 1982 as a desktop application and since 2010 as a mobile, web, and cloud-based app marketed as AutoCAD 360. And in this tutorial, we will go over modes and modeling techniques designed from a 2D draft to a 3D model such as the command line toolbar option, user coordinate system, manipulation, visual style adjustments, views, drawing features, modifying features, solid editing features, and creating constraints. So to begin, we will start a drawing and review some of the modes on the command line we will be using. So at the command lines toolbar, we will be using ortho mode, which will make horizontal and vertical line snapping to all object snaps. There's also polar tracking, which will snap to angles that are specified within the tracking settings. There is the object snap tracking vector, which is a green line which will create lines according to a green tracking vector. Object snapping, which will give different constraint capabilities to design and model. Different types of filter for object selection. There's also annotation settings and a workspace switching gear, which we will be working in the 3D modeling environment. We will proceed to the customization tab and also include selection cycling, which when selecting an object, a window of the available selections appear. And we will isolate objects to hide and make objects appear again. We will now type in units to change the, the units to a, to change the units to millimeters and proceed to the top view of the view cube. We will right click the view cube and make the visualization parallel to keep the display grid parallel to the plane. Now we will create drawing features to create the base of the bearing bracket and the four holes and round the edges. Define a starting point from zero zero of the XY plane a length of 84 and a width of 70. We will double click our mouse button to fit the screen and rotate the screen and model in the four 8 millimeter holes and specify the center point for the first circle which is 13 and 12 with a diameter of 8. Now we will copy the feature by selecting it, hitting enter, selecting the base point, activating orthographic mode, and typing a distance of 58. Now we can exit and repeat the copy command by selecting both the objects, hitting enter, selecting the base point, and typing in the value of 46. From here, we will now proceed to a different view and use our modeling technique, press pull, by selecting within the bounding box area and specifying a height of 11. Now we can round the corners with a radius of 18. and hit enter. Now we can change the position of our user coordinate system by defining a new origin and typing in 42. Now we can proceed to the right view. Now we will align our coordinate system with our view and draw our circles and ribs. Now we will use free orbit to get a better view of the component and create our ribs by holding down shift and right clicking and selecting the quadrant point of the top circle 
turning off orthographic mode and holding shift and right clicking and enabling midpoint constraining. Now we can go to the southwest isometric view and press pull our components. Now we can change the origin of our user coordinate system. And switch to the left view to create our other ribs. And align the X and Y axes to our view. And switch to a 2D wireframe visual style. Now we can create a rectangle for the rib. with a length of 14 and height within the bottom of the top cylinder to unite. Now we will create a line Now we will break the rectangle and create our fillet with a radius of 25. Now we can orbit. And create our closing line. and join the lines. Now we can press pull. From here, we can go to the bottom view and 3D mirror our rib to the other side. Now we can return to the home position. We will reposition our UCS to the top of the cylinder. Adjust to the appropriate view and align our X and Y plane to the view and create our two circles to create the cylinder.
and switch to the home view. Now from here we would simply extrude the top hole and subtract the extrude from the objects. We use the thread tool to design the M8 thread with a pitch of one and a quarter millimeters on the top of the component. Use union to unite all our objects into one and use a polygon line method to create all fillets and rounds in the part with a radius of three. And that concludes our AutoCAD bearing bracket part design tutorial.